Sandbox Percussion. My name is Ian and I'm from New York. My name is Victor and I'm from Delaware. Uh, my name is Terry and I'm from Michigan. My name is Johnny and I'm from Connecticut. So one of the most important things we talk about with all of our, our guests on this web series, as it were, is, um, is how you like your popcorn. So I'm going to defer to the popcorn master to my left. <laughs> Terry, so uh, I, I prefer just, just a, a, a smidgen of Sea salt, correct, like grinded sea salt. Okay. What kind of oil do you use? Oh, definitely canola oil. Oh, nice. But only when cooking, not not, not afterwards, or do you drizzle oh, it? No, no, only, only when cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things about California music that we're trying to do is present you know, music that we really love by you know, performers that we think are really great, um, but in a kind of laid back environment, you know, a little bit different from a traditional concert. Um, so I wanted to throw it to you guys. What are some different contexts that you like to listen to music or, or have experienced music, you know, outside of a traditional concert. Well, actually, maybe we should throw that over to Johnny with the cocktails the and music. The cocktails and music. Well, yeah, well, I, I am into very similar things as well, reimagining the concert atmosphere and, and what it should be, and yeah, I'm in full support of just make it a little more laid back, let people have a beer, have some popcorn, and, and we actually started up something in New Haven called Cocktails and Music, where you'll pair each piece with like a special fancy drink and um, and pass it out and everybody drinks it and by the end of the concert everybody loves it. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> These tend to be like pretty fun for us to play, you know, it's, I think it's cool for the audience but for us it's like, you know, we, you know and we're, we're presenting a concert, yeah. We're presenting good music that we really care about yeah. and we, we really care about the level of the performance, so. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, it's treated like a really serious thing but in a laid back environment, it's, it's yeah. nice. Um, so one of the other things I wanted to talk about with you guys is that the percussion ensemble itself is a relatively recent thing, but has become a really important thing. Yeah. And I was wondering maybe if you guys could just talk about, you know, the kind of the history of, of percussion music and it kind of forming into its own thing. Yeah, I mean, percussion chamber music is, is like a really new thing. I mean, it's only, um, it, it, it's, especially in this country, it's only been in, in the last decade or so that, that some ensembles have sort of taken on the prominence of your string quartets and piano trio, stuff like that. So groups like So Percussion have really paved the way for other people to do that. And it seems like composers are really, really excited about writing new percussion pieces. I mean, on, on this program, we're playing a bunch of music that was written expressly for this event, including a piece by you, which is so awesome. Um, I, think, I think composers are really into it because the, the possibilities are almost limitless. I mean, you, you can write for any kind of instrument, like in your piece, for example, the instruments are more standard percussion instruments, and you use them in, in different ways. But in Thomas Kochev's piece, um, he uses all kinds of found instruments, you know, wine bottles and beer bottles and tin cans, all kinds of stuff like that that we just picked up wherever. I was wondering, actually, if you could talk a bit about those early Steve Reich pieces. I know you guys did a whole season of, of Reich. Yeah, yeah. Well, fo focusing on Reich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Sure. Let's talk about drumming. Talk about, talk about drumming in general. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the basis of the piece is that you have one rhythm, simple rhythm, and one person slowly speeds up until it lines up in a new place, and then a new place, and then these produce resultant rhythms. Is a fancy word for it. And um, but that process alone is, I think. I mean, it's fascinating from a listener's point of view and also from a performer's point of view. And we learn a lot about, you know, our dynamic as, a, as an ensemble just by that process of, okay, like you spend your whole life learning how to play in time with someone. And then now you just go completely against it and say, I'm going to play just a little faster than you, but don't go with me. You know, you stay the same. And then it goes against everything you've learned your whole life. And then to detach from that is very... It's very strange at first, but then it's completely liberating. And I feel like, you know, when you do that with someone, you can play anything with them.
it's a pretty perfect technique. I mean, it sounds awesome. It looks awesome. Um, it, it's very clear what's going on. Yeah, right. just very clear to see one guy speeding up just a little bit, a little bit, and now you have a new, a new lyric. Right. You know, it's, it's really, really cool. So maybe we could also talk about uh, so-called laws of nature, which is another kind of like, you know, I, I mean, it's it's a much more recent piece, but I already kind of feel like it's, it's a like it's a classic. Right? Yeah, at this I mean, point. it was it was so percussion's first ever commission when when they were still students at the Yale School of Music. Um, and since then, it's just emerged as, you know, one of the most fiendishly difficult and <laughs> incredibly awesome to experience and perform pieces in, in, in our repertoire. So we're only going to be playing the second movement at this concert. Um, this is the first time that we've ever performed it. So oh, wow. there's a certain level of anxiety with that. We're really excited about it. Um, <laughs> but we're, we're taking, <laughs> taking, taking it one step at a time. Um, and th this piece, uh, it, it's, a real, it's a real process piece. Um, it's, it, the whole thing is in canon. Each player is more or less playing... Uh, the, the same thing as everyone else, but it's just in a big canon. But I mean, it just spins out and spins out, and gets more and more complicated, adding more uh, more pitches, more instruments, and it, the composite is like the most joyous thing ever. <laughs> it's so it's so awesome, so much fun to play. <laughs> so much yeah. for talking oh, to me. Thank We're you. super Thank excited you. for the show. Us too. Us Thanks too. for the kettle corn. Of course. <laughs>